What's up? What's good? It's your boy, Tommy Springfield, a.k.a. the King of All Talk, back up in here with another one of them videos. But first and foremost, I gotta get your permission. Can I talk to you? Please, please, can I talk to you? If you like what I'm doing, hit the like button, hit the share, subscribe, hit the bell, click all so you can get notifications every time I drop one of these real ninja videos. And in today's video, I'm giving you further proof, guys like Adam22 and Vlad, they're culture vultures, they're troublemakers, they start shit, they instigate shit, but as soon as you call them out, white folks get mad. As soon as you call them out, them uppity ninjas get mad. Why y'all mad? Look at this interview. He's clearly trying to instigate shit. Watch. Here you go. I'm going to show you. I don't talk. I'll show you. They're already on. They're already on. Hey, listen. Let's talk about it. They are? Let's have some dialogue. No, that dialogue. You don't have <laughs> ding dong. What's, what's up with that picture yeah. today? You like that? You want to talk about me? With the chocolate box, what? what you doing, white? Or you gave him some white? What's going on? You know, that's the, no, no, that's a good point. Tonight, listen, today a lot of people pointed out today. I no. should have used a black dude. Wasn't no black. You, so you want J. Main? That's who you were looking. It would have been funnier if it was a black guy. Now, first of all, he talking about some gay shit that he did. That he be doing And you know He let his wife Sleep with a black Porn star And And he, Like It should have been A black dude Like bro Like what's wrong With you bro Just leave us alone bro So is this April Fool's <laughs> What was going on That was April Fool's But oh, they'll, they'll know that By the time that they see this Adam Somebody just caught you Walking with that same dude With a big ass dog Yeah that was That was part of it <laughs> <laughs> I, it was my first time flying a gay star out. Man, why you? He got flewed out like Young Miami. Oh, f <laughs> oh yeah, that's what you should have. I ain't even hit. What are you drinking? Some bullshit. I need this. I'm stressed out. Yeah. You bringing ops with you, huh? Who, okay. Crimac Daddy? Yeah, he already got evicted. Crimac. Now, he talking about, oh, you bringing ops with you. and Adam, you a white boy. You a punk. You let black dudes screw your wife. You're a lame. Why are you talking like you a gangbanger? But you know, no one in white America sees that. Get out there? I just told the security we can't have him here. What? That's my uncle, man. I didn't even stick around to see how this went down, but I just told him, like, we, we can't have him here. I didn't even know that was my uncle out, man. Uh, I believe that's uh, happening right now. No, then I gotta go. Well, it is what it is. You kicking him out for real? Yeah. I, I mean, I told him to do it. I, don't, I assume he's taking care of it. No. That's, uh... One of my biggest supporters. That's somebody I don't support. So having him in the building, not really part of the plan. Well, hold on. You support everybody. Not him. Why? Because he's trying to get clout by lying about my boy. And he's a federal witness. He's a federal witness? Or a snitch of some sort. I don't, I don't know. It's just not. So hold on. It's a, it's a security issue to have. I'm sorry. You know, people gonna get mad and angry, but remember, this is my platform. This is my opinion. You don't like it? Go get your own platform. Don't get in my conversation talking tough with your no platform having ass. <laughs> but I just don't like guys like him talking tough. Oh, he's a snitch and he's this. Okay, when somebody, a real gangbanger, beat this out of Adam 22, white America gonna be mad. No one's going to say, well, he be up in the mix playing tough, talking tough. Have somebody like that in the building when we're filming a podcast tonight where we have some real reputable members that are going to be here. And I know for a fact some of them do not want to see him. So we could all spare ourselves a situation. They're going to be here while he here? Yeah. You need the conflict interest. You just have people that come and you don't know who mixed them. What if they don't want to see me? Yeah, because you're bringing randos. What? I'm a rando. No, you're not. I you can't yell at guys. Huh? I don't know these guys. Yeah, but you're bringing some. Now, you see, he's calling them out. But see, Adam 22, that like all white people, they can never, white people can never just say, you know what? You're right. He can't say that because that is part of. 
whiteness. I don't call it white privilege because all white people think that way. Like, just admit it. He's telling you, bro, I'm a random. You don't know if I get along with these dudes. But he said, oh, no, nah, I don't be. I mean, bro, you just have randoms. You just said it. But you know that I don't get along with. I don't know that. Mm, I feel like before coming here, he probably let you know. Oh. You bring everybody that don't f with each other on your podcast. Not so, here at the same time. And also people surprising me with people that I don't get along with or that I don't want to be associated with. That's my issue. First of all, who is this gay dude? That's who at, I, I'm 100 percent sure that's who probably Adam sleeping with because, you know, Adam let black dudes sleep with his wife. You think Adam is letting these black dudes sleep with his wife and he not getting none of that black D neither. So this dude, I don't know why he there, but, you know, at a couple times in the interview, he say something like he's somebody. But you just gay, homie. Look at him. He looking other men in their face, in their eyes and shit. You just gay. You, you, you want to be part of the... <laughs> I think you know that. that I don't. Sense, know, right? I, I never, never heard you speak of, upon him. I never heard you say anything about. But him. I also find it hard to believe that Skinny, because like Skinny put us in a group chat where we got into our whole conversation. I kind of find it hard to believe that your yeah. young shooter, Skinny from the Nine, didn't tell you about My this conversation. Shooter, you need to stop. See, that's a problem. You just saying shit. So that's not your. No, you see. That's fast shit. People gonna be like, oh, Vlad do it too. Oh, but black people come on there. But why are you seeing stuff like, yo, that's his shooter? Why, why are you seeing that? Did he say it was my shooter? No, he didn't say that. Adam 22 said that. So when you get in the comment section and start talking shit to me, remember Adam 22 is saying this stuff, not King Yella. Shooter. Oh, okay. Shooter. What's a shooter? Someone who you does the deeds the for you. You the one got the shooters. You just ran off famous Richard. You got the shooter. You be no, he's hey, scary. You didn't want to come in. That's because you becoming a gang member. No. Yeah. How? You, you got people coming up here like right now. You no put on. You don't know if I'm if, if 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 these people like me. You don't know if I like them. How would you know? Now you see, he's calling Adam out, but I know y'all gonna be mad at me. He's saying this to Adam, bro. You got all type of gang members. You becoming a gang member. You hanging around gang members, bro. You wanna be a ninja, bad. Adam twenty two and Vlad are the biggest. I wanna be black white dudes ever. Adam twenty two wanna be black so bad he let a black dude screw his wife. Do you see how mentally disturbed this white dude is, y'all? But, you know, y'all gonna be mad at me. I know, I know, I know. Ooh, you can't have people running to people should be should not be in here when you got other people coming because you don't know. So you're not even asking that. No, so no offense. I don't think Munchie B and Spider Loak are worried about a, a GD from Chicago. Now, you see how we trying to play it off? He's telling you, bro, you have all type of members from different size of sets in here. But he can't just be white and just say, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. If I'm having a bunch of different gang members here, sooner or later it's going to pop off here. He can't just say that. That's it. That's all he got to say. You know what? You're right. Well, I don't think. <laughs> so if they ain't worried about a gang banger from Chicago, why would they be worried about a dude that's on the internet acting like he crit Max that? You're not even making any sense, but white America just always makes sense, even when they wrong. Why would they be worried about him? Because he's been disrespectful to the Crips. To the Crips or to Crip Mac? Crip Mac is one of the leading Crips. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you said anything. He's up there. He's up. Up what? On so, the, so the grip clout. This is what I was hearing, man. He's, he's saying, right up here. You're saying clout and a reputable person is two different things. Okay. Thank you. Just like somebody might say, King Yeller, don't put my name at the top of no GD list because I have a name. I'm not no top GD shit. I don't even gangbang. 
I mean, I'm okay. GD, you, you, can, you can get like, on here and say whatever. I'm not, I'm not gay. Now you look, you see how white people are. Oh, you can get on here and say whatever. He telling you, I don't gang bang, bro. Why that can't be so? Why it can't be? He just not a gang banger. Cause you white, and, and what you say is right. Stop it. I'm not a. You have people that's originators. The people that started these niggas that already. Got their names. Just because you got some clout don't make you a member. Now you have an influence because clout now is taking over the world. Well, let's, let's talk about the right. real issue. You're worried about the fact that you know that YB and Amir has an interview after this. And now, this is what white people do. Now, because King Yeller is calling him out, and he don't got no proper response, and he's never going to admit it like, yo, you you know, you you right. I'm a white dude and I have all these gangbangers up here and you know, it can cause issues. It can cause problems. I'm exploiting them. So now he says, oh, you're just scared of the other people that I got coming. How would he be scared? He didn't even know they was coming, bro. He didn't even know they was coming. That's what I'm saying. That's what white people do. Y'all do the bullshit. And y'all gonna get in my comments, com, uh, comment section and do the bullshit. But it doesn't matter what y'all say. That's my platform. That's what I do. I'm what? I have a... I'm what? I feel like I'm, I'm sensing a little nervousness. You got me f***ed up. Worry about not me. It's crazy. Worry about anybody. Let's and then that's the funny part. You're starting trouble. Please, white people, just admit it. You're like, oh, you're scared of the dudes I got coming. So now, right, what, what, what could possibly happen? King Yeller trying to defend his manhood could say, man, F them dudes that's coming. Now the dudes that's coming say, yo, I heard you said F us. Come on, man. How white America, black America, green America, brown America don't see the Adam 22s and the blacks for what they are. Y'all instigators. Y'all in the white, y'all in the black culture instigating shit. He's sitting here instigated on this whole video, but I guarantee you people going to say, oh, no, you just making things about race. No. This white man is trying to instigate shit between gang bangers. That's why you came with the bloods, though? Listen, the who? The bloods. Where oh, you see some blood? Now, this corny ass dude ain't said nothing the whole conversation. Clearly, he's a lame. Clearly, he's a lame. Why I think he's a lame? Because he's hanging with Adam 22. I'm from the hood. I'm, I'm, you know, I grew up in the hood. I, I've been around some. I got a saying. I grew up with the killers, the dealers, the prostitutes, the pimps. I grew up with them all. But I was a chameleon. You know what I'm saying? And you probably say, King of Talk, what does that mean when you say you was a killer? Nah, I wasn't no wolf. I wasn't this. I was I was a chameleon. When I'm and what is a chameleon? When I'm with the killers, I talk like a killer. When 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 I'm with the pimps, I talk like a pimp. When I'm around the hoes, I talk whole pimp talk. I'm a chameleon. That's how I survived the ghetto. I'm able to get along with everybody. You know what I'm saying? That? I thought I was a blood. Who? No. With the man then? That's uh, Kurt Max fake dad. All right. Is he a blood? I have no idea. Listen, man. No we from the Midwest, man. Mm -hmm. Ain't no bloods in Chris where we from. So all that, I don't know. But this is what I'm telling you. Adam, you have conflict interest with people. You study saying that. Somebody come right here and get hurt at your shit. That shit going to fall on you. This is your shit. Thank you. Thank you. You having all these gangbangers around. And when it go wrong, it's your fault. But thank God you white because you always right and you ain't going to get in no trouble. That's this why is, we have armed security to is, try to avoid those types of situations. It doesn't avoid it if you saying, oh, we got armed security so we can avoid those situations. Stop being messy. Stop being messy. You worse than the whore out the hood that got 10 boyfriends. You messy, bro. What you saying right now? What am I saying? Look what you saying. You talking about? Did you just say me worried about who? If I'm worried about somebody, I ain't going nowhere. I'm just sensing the anxiety. I was and just trying I'm to pinpoint where know, it's coming from. I'm letting you know I'm not worried about shit. Right. I'm really worried about you steady playing with my name. But I think oh, listen, you're you, trying no, to put no, no. it on me playing with your name when you in reality calling, you are a topic my, of conversation no, and a lot of people no, bring you up. It's not like I'm the one always bringing you up. Adam, you study bringing up. So I'm really starting. You Trust me. 
I watched enough Adam 22 interviews. He be bringing the man name up. He just go and ask random people, oh, you like King Yellow? Because that's what he does. He's a white guy instigator amongst black folks and gang members. That's why I don't respect black people. That's why I do videos showing you how stupid my people is. Because we stupid. We dumb. Why are we going around Adam 22s and blasts when we can just build our own platforms? Why? Why do we need white dudes instigate? Let's us instigate our own shit. Let's us put our own platforms on. Stop going to these Dudes, that's getting shit going. Cause look at King Yellow, you 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 you're falling into his trap. You're about to start talking about the dudes that's next. He's setting you up. Saying that like, do you really think I'm a or something? You saying that like you this is something on skeezy. Like I've really been getting my life together, trying to change. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's just playing with me. And I think you think you can't get your ass beat or something. Uh See, that's the point. That's it right there. You know, like he said, I'm a, I'm trying to be on some grown shit and get my life together. But yet, every time I tune into your show, you trying to put me in the conflict. And it's like you think you can't get your ass beat. See, that's what it be. The Vlads and the Adam 22s, they hide behind security. That, like, I'm all in. If Vlad and Adam 22 want to be a around Negroes and black folks, that's cool. But play by our rules. Because guess what? Them three black dudes that's sitting there, if they got a problem with each other, they going to get it in. They going to get it in. And I'm talking, you know, about the dude that's with Adam 22, but I ain't going to lie. He look on go mode. He look like he ready. You know what I'm saying? He look like he ready to come across that table. And that's what I'm saying about us black folks. We going to get it in. But the Adam 22s and Vlads, it's okay for them to take strikes at black people. It's okay for Vlad to talk down on Dame Dash. It's okay for Adam 22 to put people in comp uh, compromising positions, but like, like, like King Yellow is doing. As soon as we check them, or as soon as we ready to smack the shit out of them, we wrong. <laughs> uh, no, anything's possible. Yeah. But I'm saying, you study bringing my name up to all these guys. But you know, nobody you watch all this my stuff, name. You know that a lot of those people bring up your name. Man, one of them interviews. All them you just had here, the last 757, they ain't say yellow name. You say yellow name. I, I, I rem now you see? Now, like white people do, he's going to say, oh, I remember this. I remember the man telling you about his name. You think. I'm going to come to you and say, Alan, why you keep saying my name? If, if, if I know you not saying my name, come on, bro. That's what I mean. We wonder why America ain't great. Because the people that's been running it this whole time, sorry, just happened to be white, wasn't running it right. <laughs> so anytime people say make America great, look who been running it this whole time. That's why it ain't great. The people that's been running it. I remember multiple interviews where I looked King at the camera Yellow. and said, hey, I didn't bring this up. Y'all brought this up. King Yellow, don't get mad at me. So, so you know no, that you a lot are. of these you interviews, are. your name is brought up by them. You're a hot topic with a lot of the Chicago rappers. It's all good. Just tell me I'm popping. You like my name, man. Just say it. Popping right. is one way say to put it. it. Say it. Say it. Let, us, let the world know. <laughs> I mean... Popping, okay. We can say popping for the it's sake of this good. interview. It's all good. Yeah. A lot of now you see, he's trying to be as smart as well. we can. We can. We can say popping for the sake of this interview. I would love to see him in a celebrity boxing match with one of the people he talk about, like maybe King Yo. You love talking about ninjas. Won't you do something? Won't you get in the ring? Won't you earn the respect of the ninjas you around? Like, if Adam-22 and Vlad did what they did and just was, like, regular dudes, like, you know, Vlad keeps talking about Dame guys, Dame won the box. If Vlad didn't have no problem and he got in that ring and he took his licks like he was supposed to, then we can respect them dudes. But as long as y'all hiding behind security and your gangbang members, y'all lames. People want to talk about you. Probably make a lot of money off my name. It's cool. I mean, do you think that you're above being discussed? Above. What you mean? Like, do you think that everybody else should be able to be discussed, but that for some reason your name should be given special treatment? Once again, this is what white people do. He's making a point that doesn't make sense. Oh, do you think you're above being discussed? 
out on 22. Why are you talking about the man? It, it, he's not even a famous rapper. He doesn't have any music out. So why are you talking about him to his ops? It doesn't even make sense. When you just said you kicked Crip Matt's daddy out because he's an op. But yet, you love talking about King Yella to his ops. Come on, bro. You're not making any sense. Probably discuss more than anybody on it. Mm, yeah, but you it's for a reason, you right? You mix my name in with from Florida. You mixing my name in with L.A. Crip. That's playing with my... Listen, you got playing with my name talking about fate on skis. I'm not fighting nobody. Because I'm the storylines about you, King Yella are, are so universal. You, you ain't met a... Now you hear me like, yo, bro, you be talking. I'm from Chicago. Why are you talking to L.A. dudes about me? Why are you talking about these dudes about me? I, I, I just hope y'all white people see this shit for what it is. He's an instigator in our culture, period. Rappers want to talk no about King Yellow's situation. Yo, I'm not going to come to your shit. If I come to your shit and a motherfucker play with me, gang, God forbid. Uh, for, for them. Mm hmm you better be prepared. I'm prepared to die right now. It's you on skeezy. It's you. Yeah. No, I'm probably you're even not. more prepared than you. Once again, the average white boy comment. Like I said about the three black dudes on this panel. Probably all ready to die for what they believe in. King Yella just said it. I'm ready to die today. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I am. Okay, so if you're ready to die, why you got security? You don't need security here. Just hang with the gangbangs and thug it out. You don't need security, thug it, because you ready to die. See, most black rappers don't have security because, like he said, they ready to die. You not, Adam, so stop seeing shit trying to sound like a tough white dude. You the same dude that let a black dude sleep with his wife, bro. You not ready to die. You want black cop. No, you're not. <laughs> I think no, I am. You're not. No, you're not. <laughs> like, niggas be doing that. Just be playing. Mm. And when I'm chilling, that's like, they be playing with my gangster. Like, I'm not who I am. My office is. with armed security. Man, listen, man. Everybody, everybody who security. comes in gets searched. Okay. So I would say I'm pretty, that mean, I'm pretty that prepared. That don't mean it ain't 10 sitting outside this bitch. All right. Well, 11 now. Oh, where we see? What did I just get through telling y'all? Everybody relies. These white dudes rely on their security. <laughs> I'm, I'm prepared. I got security. That that means you want to live. That ain't mean you ready to die. People that got security scared and want to live, bro. Get your shit right. I wish your white people would call you out, and I wouldn't have to do it. Who was the eleven person? Quick nice dad. <laughs> You can't even be serious with this. <laughs> well, I'm saying like, we're really doing the science. If it was ten before, it's eleven now. Okay. Let me hit my wall. <laughs> and I'm with Adam, man. I'm with Adam. I don't know, but Adam is crazy, man. Adam is crazy. What's so crazy though? I don't know. I'm really feeling like then you be having people come on this like nigga think I swear to God, dude, you ain't met a nigga that robbed me came on this. You can say this all internet shit. Then you got hate him ass that's mad because my life, I just went to years in prison, did that came home and still passed these broke ass up. Like who? A lot of majority of the people you bring on your platform. You know, like I say, man, Adam 22 and Blad, they're instigators in in the black community. But I can't be mad at us ninjas love going on these shows. It is what it is. But you're not going to tell me you can watch this video and say, uh, Adam 22, don't be instigating and try to get, you know, dudes and, and shit with each other. But, you know, like I always say, if you're a supporter of the channel, much love and respect to you. If you're one of them haters like Adam 22 or one of them haters that be all in the comment section uh, emotional, cut this shit.